Hey everybody, I'm Trish Morato, Senior Communications Manager at SMA America, and today I am joined by our Tyson Chazelle, Strategic Market Sales Manager, to talk about his favorite topic, community solar. Tyson, this is such a hot topic right now. Thank you for joining and talking about this today. Yeah, thank you, Trish, and, and uh, happy to be here. Okay, so let's jump in. We hear this buzzword all the time, community solar. Tyson, what is it? What does it mean? Why does it matter? That's a good question. Uh, community solar is a solar energy model where multiple customers, like households, also businesses, and, and even renters, can share the benefits of a single solar installation. So instead of putting solar panels up on your roof, uh, you can subscribe to the power that's produced from a nearby solar farm, and then you receive credits on your electricity bill for the energy that it produces. Uh, so for anybody who can't install on their own roof for whatever reason, this is a great outlet to getting uh, solar. So it's really about accessibility. It sounds like it brings solar to more people. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so even renters, apartment dwellers, and any business or other uh, a homeowner that doesn't have a suitable roof now has access to clean energy without having to install their own system. That sounds like a win-win. How does that work from the customer's perspective? All right, so when a solar farm is built in a community, uh, typically by a developer, there's a few different models. Uh, the households and the build businesses will subscribe to a portion of that solar farm, and then the energy that's produced is sent to the grid, and those subscribers get bill credits for their share of the electricity. And that also includes all the environmental benefits uh, of that community solar farm. Okay, so they're still getting their power from the utility, but now a portion of it is clean energy. Is that right? Yeah, uh, it, it costs roughly the same as what they're paying now, but it's better in so many ways. Okay, well, now how does SMA play a part in that? So SMA manufactures a, a range of different inverters and the, the Peak 3 inverter is perfect for solar farms. So this is the device that's gonna convert the solar farms electricity that's made in DC. It's gonna convert it over to AC power that can then be used on the grid. And our inverters play a crucial role in making sure that that energy is efficiently, uh, efficiently delivered to the utility network and meets the high standards for grid reliability and stability and performance. Uh, and in general, is just going to make sure that, that power plant lasts a long time. That makes sense. And we know community solar has been growing. So it seems like as the industry and as community solar grows, our technology helps ensure that the projects run efficiently, right? That's right. Yeah. So as part of lasting a long time, our Peak 3 has a 25-year design life. And so that makes it ideal for these community solar projects and other large-scale solar farms that are expected to produce power, uh, power for a long time. So we know that community solar has been expanding rapidly in the U.S. I'm curious, from your point as an expert here, what's driving that growth? So it's a good question. Uh, there's a few reasons. Uh, there's more and more state programs. So many states have already created these policies that support community solar, which you know makes it easier for people to participate. And other states are seeing those successes and then creating their own community solar programs. Um, energy equity is a big one. It gives more people access to clean energy who may not otherwise be able to install it on their own roofs. And then there's a lot of grid benefits, right? It helps utilities add more renewable energy to the grid in a rather controlled way. So it sounds like it's actually good for a lot of stakeholders. It's good for consumers. Mm -hmm. It's good for utilities. It's good for developers. Sounds exactly. Like win -win. Yeah. Yeah. And it's scalable. Uh, so it helps to bring more solar power to more people without all the barriers that we might find with uh, simply just being stuck with rooftop solar. Right. Well, um, you did a really great job of, you know, giving a top level overview of what community solar is. It's very insightful. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you want to share? Uh, yeah, I'd say that community solar is helping to change the game for renewable energy. Uh, like we've been saying, it's making solar uh, so much uh, more accessible to uh, so many more people. And it's driving real progress toward a cleaner, more sustainable grid. And at SMA, we're excited to be a part of that. 
Absolutely. Well, thanks Tyson so much for all of your insight today. If anyone is more interested in finding out details about Community Solar, go to the SMA America website or reach out to Tyson. Thanks everybody. Yeah, thank you, Trish. Thanks everyone.